This is a demonstration of Social Miner. Let's begin by logging into the system. Logging into Social Miner will first require you to log into the CIS demo system. Then by pulling up a browser and going to the appropriate page, you can log in, but first you will get a red screen as you'll see now. Go through this period before you show to the customer and begin the demonstration from this point where you're logging into Social Miner itself. That will give the ability to not show the red screen, which is kind of a flag to customers, and get you signed in securely. How to configure Social Miner. Let's take a look at configuration in Social Miner. There are three components to each configuration. The first of those is feeds. The second of those is campaigns. And the last component that we have available to us in the configuration are filters. We'll go into filters in a minute, but first let's take a look at feeds. The social miner in the CCI CIS demo system already has feeds set up for Rock Coast Bank. We have both Twitter and Facebook accounts set up, but let's take a look at the setup on the Twitter account. As you can see, it's listed at the top in the drop-down as a Twitter account. Rock Coast Bank is the name of the account and the username is the same. We've set it up for one minute polling intervals for new information and we've set the reply template to be this default Cisco Twitter. Once the feeds are set up, you can then go in and align filters. And again here we have filters set up for beginning use. Let's take a closer look at filters. The first type of filter we see is a Bayesian. A Bayesian filter is a trainable filtering technology based on the statistical probability model called Bayesian. These filters can be trained for any purpose including sentiment analysis. Let's take a look at how to set one. In Social Miner, we have the ability to include or exclude certain tweets in that training ability. First, we need to go in in our settings and set the particular Bayesian filter that we want to train. And then we're given the ability to either add or take away from that filter's training. So positive influences, such as relevant tweets and, and Facebook posts, we want to include in that training and help it to identify. The negative ones we want to shell out. And that's the ability that's given to us by this filter so that it automates that process moving forward. The second type of filter is an author filter. This is simply a filter that excludes specific post authors from the feed. So for example, we could use this filter to control spam by eliminating social contacts from certain names or Twitter IDs. The third and final type of filter is the script filter. Now this one's a little more complicated and it's a feature that lets you upload a groovy script to modify or take an action on social contacts as they enter the system. This filter can integrate with external systems such as clout scores or social contacts for Twitter account feeds to perform translation of social contact content. When you edit a script filter, a show source button opens the read-only script in a separate window, but only the social miner administrator can see that script as an option. Following the setup of the feeds and the filters, we have to set up a campaign. And again, here we've set one up with Rock Coast, including the feeds for that, our feeds for both our Twitter and our Facebook accounts, as well as some RSS feeds that we've set up along the way. You add those from the left column into the right once they're created. And then from a filter perspective, we'll apply the filter that we built for Rock Coast as well, which was the Bayesian. Save this, and the campaign becomes active. As you see, it was successfully saved. The next step is sending tweets. Here you see a fictitious account that we've set up for a customer of Rock Coast Bank named Jane Bond. Sending a tweet into the system after having configured what we've just done, all you need to do is to send a tweet, including Rock Coast in the body of the tweet, or you can send an at statement. Uh, the statement just asking for car insurance or something like that.
we've also set up a fictitious account on Facebook. Going to the site for Rock Coast Corporation, we can post or share an issue that we might be having on the Facebook account, which in turn will trigger against the campaign that we've created a message into Social Miner that we can then act upon. Let's take a look at the results of our campaign. At the top you can see the tweet that we sent earlier and if we select that tweet as a method to work we can then respond to it through Twitter by either using a reply, a retweet, or a direct message if both parties are following one another. Remember direct messages which are more secure and can only be read by the members that it is between can only be sent if both parties follow each other. Otherwise the retweet or the reply are going to be public messages. So you need to be very careful as to what you are sending out on Twitter or on Facebook because others can read it. Once we've replied to the tweet, you can go back to the Jane Bond Twitter page or whichever page that you sent the tweet from and you can see and react and respond to the tweet from a customer service perspective. In this case we've sent the 800 number for her to call us back and Jane goes into the conversation and responds that she'll give a call tonight. The last piece that you'll want to show when doing a, so a social minor demonstration is how do we edit a campaign. Certainly there are going to be things that come through uh, such as this item here that we want to get rid of and we want to keep out of the campaign. Over time the filters that we've set up will learn how to discard these automatically if they're not relevant to our business. But initially there will be some that slip through that you want to manually go through and clean out, leaving the relevant ones behind. We can also show which ones have been handled previously from a historical perspective and reporting, and we can show those that have been discarded just to make sure that we're cleaning out the appropriate or inappropriate, in this case, uh, tweets and messages. Thank you for watching this demonstration of Social Miner. Look for Social Miner at cisco.com slash go slash social miner for any other further information or documentation that you may need. Thank you.